set the court um, situated between the prosecution and correction. Um, it is the centerpiece of the five pillars. As such, it prefers perhaps at the most important role in the administration of justice because it is the court that everyone turns for justice. So, in the courts, the rule there is a rules of the courts in the system. So, the number one is to settle actual controversies involving rights which are legally demandable and enforceable. Um, number two is to determine whether there has been a grave abuse of discretion among to, look, to lack of excess, excess of jurisdictions in the part of any branches instrumentality of the government and to render authoritative judgments um, it is the final arbiter for justice um, it is the front line of democracy freedom and human dignity in the court um, in the criminal justice system the court is locked upon us um, the final arbiter for justice um, the front line of defender of democracy freedom and human dignity um, also it is the only institution that are capable of identifying and maintaining the proper balance of the conflict conflict of between the conflicting rights of individual and those state and those the state of society and it is the courts that everyone storms for justice in the courts there are three important functions so the number one is to resolve disputes that will offer routine of crucial to those involved uh, number two it is provide protection from legal actions by government and individuals and number three occasionally resolve disputes of great political and social significance there are four organization of the court so number one is regular courts so the so regular courts there is the supreme court money it is the highest of hierarchy under the judiciary reorganization act of 1980 otherwise known as batas batas pambansa building 129 or republic act 129 the regular courts are a intermediate appellate appellate court um this operates in 10 divisions each compromising five members so the court sits in bank only to exercise administrative ceremonial or either non-adjudicatory function so number two is regional trial courts which which is presided by 720 regional trial judges in each of the 13 regions of the country so sa koan daw 720 sa isa daw there are 13 regions of the country ko na sa metropolitan trial courts in each metro metropolitan area established by the law in area municipal trial court trial court in every city not confirming the part of metropolitan area and each municipalities um, not compromised within metropolitan area. Um, municipal circuit trial court. Um, in each area defended, defined as municipal circuit, compromising of one and more cities and one or more municipalities grouped together according to the law. There is also a special courts, um, Nadiha ang court of tax appeals, Sandigan Bayan or people advocate. Ombudsman of the Philippines, Tanod ng Bayan. Uh, and the Ombudsman, it is appointed by the President of the Philippines from the list submitted by the Judicial and Bar Council for seven-year term with no reappointment. Um, the Ombudsman can be impeached. Can be impeached. Um, number three is the quasi-judicial agency. So, Dari ang National Labor Relations Commission o NL, NLRC, Employees Compensation Commission or ECC, Board of Transportation or BT, etc. And the Independent Constitutional Commission, which do not form a part of integrated judicial system. And 
And number four is the Barangay Courts, with each, which is called Lupong Taga Payapa, Payapa, or Barangay Courts, which is which shall constitute a system of amicably setting disputes at the barangay level to help and relieve the courts of the docket congregation and thereby enhance the quality of justice disposed by the court. So barangays as terms used in the presidential decree of 1508 referred not only to the barrios which were declared barangays by presidential decree number 557 but also the barangays otherwise known as citizen assemblies pursuant of presidential decree of 86 levels of hierarchy hierarchy so first level is first level courts second level courts courts of appeal supreme courts and extra ordinary jurisdiction